Good morning. Welcome to today's What I Eat in a Day. It is currently 6.34 a.m. and I'm in the car and I have a reason. I'm actually headed to the bank, to the ATM, to take out some cash. We are having epoxy flooring put in our garage. They've been working on it for a few days and today is the final day and we negotiated a lower price by paying cash. But we have a little bit of an issue. We still bank in Washington, so we have to get cash out of an ATM of another bank here and you know how they have limits on the daily withdrawal. So I'm here with my debit card and Troy's debit card to try to get the rest of the money that I need to pay the epoxy floor guys today when they finish up our garage floor. I'll show you guys what it looks like. We saw it at my in-laws and fell in love with it and had, had, had to have it done to our house. It looks so nice in the garage. I also brought my coffee with me to sip on while I am running to the bank. This is my usual four shots of espresso, a Fairlife protein shake, my Fitbiotic from Garden of Life, and my collagen. I'll link everything down below for you. So we have a busy day today. We need to run to Lowe's and pick out a tree and a couple of cactus for our front yard. We have our landscaper coming back out this next week to pull out the tree close to our house. I, I told you guys about that, I think, in a different video. Plant a new tree and a couple cactus in our front yard. We're also getting our water softener installed this week, which is great. We have such hard water at our house. I mean, it's horrible. So I'm excited to get that installed. So yeah, we just have a really busy day today. So I'm going to run to the bank, get the cash, finish up my coffee, and then we'll have some breakfast. So here's my breakfast for today. As you know, I had my protein shake earlier this morning. It is now 9.30, so I'm getting a little bit hungry. So I have one of my raspberry streusel muffins that I made in my meal prep. Uh, yeah, you guys need to make all three <laughs> recipes. They're so good. I'm actually going to have my lunch meal prep for lunch today, so you'll get to see that as well. And then I have one egg, one egg white with one tablespoon of Parmesan cheese. So. So this is going to be breakfast. So I was just cleaning up the house before we head out to run some errands today. And I wanted to share with you guys our brand new air purifier. I've shared our other air purifier with you that we have in our bedroom. We've had it for a long time. We absolutely love it. But when we bought this new house, we knew that we had a little bit wider open space. And the fact that we have three dogs and we live in the desert, which means lots and lots of dirt, we wanted to add a second air purifier to our home. And this particular one, the Halo Air Purifier, purifier from Floia sits in our second living room of our home, which is kind of our sit down, relax and chill area. It is so aesthetically pleasing. And let me tell you, it does an amazing, amazing job. The true high efficiency HEPA 13 filter with three adjustable fan speeds, free time control. So two hours, four hours or eight hours, it will automatically shut off once you set the time. It has a unique angelic halo design, which I really like. Like I said, it's aesthetically pleasing. It helps with dog hair, dust, dirt. It is such a game changer when it comes to purifying the air in your home. We love the one in our bedroom. We turn it on every night before we go to bed. And this halo air purifier from Floia is great for us to have in the main living area of our home so that it can purify that area as well. You would be shocked when you go to change the filter, how dirty it is and how much it actually captures. It's just a beautiful aesthetic air purifier. And so many of you have reached out actually and asked me what air purifying systems we use in our house. And this is the one that we purchased for our new home. And we really, truly, truly love it. So I will go ahead and link the Halo air purifier down in the description box for you. Any discounts, all that information will be down there as well. Highly, highly recommend for nice, clean air, not to mention white noise and a beautiful nightlight as you sleep. This is Arizona dog life. Our water does not come out of the faucet, very cold. So depending on how hot it is outside, the cold water can be lukewarm. So like a good dog mom, I put ice in my dog's water. Mommy and daddy are going to Home Depot. We need to get a tree and a cactus. So there's your tree. You take a nap, buddy. He's exhausted. Can you sit, love? Good girl, honey, here you go. Here's my little outfit of the day, this cute little top that I hauled in my Shein haul. 
These are the shorts I got at Walmart in Washington for like $5. They're already getting kind of big on me. And then I'm wearing those cute little brown sandals also from Shein. And it's 92 here today. I don't know how well you guys are going to be able to see, but this is what our epoxied garage floor looks like. It has these little specks in it. It's really easy to clean and it just makes it look so nice. We have our two car garage and then we have a one car garage as well. And we have the epoxy floor put into that too. It's just so nice. Highly, highly recommend. So if you're in the Tucson, Phoenix, if you live anywhere near me, Sonoma Scapes is who did our flooring. Highly recommend. My in-laws actually referred them to us and they did such an amazing job. And seriously, it's a family owned business. Nicest people, nicest people ever. So highly, highly recommend them. We are on our way to Home Depot and possibly a nursery as well to see about finding the tree that we're looking for and some cactus. Cactuses? Cacti. We're on our way to Home Depot and possibly a nursery, but the first stop is going to be Dunkin' Donuts for some coffee. I could always use an extra coffee. Coffee and beer. No beer, just coffee. Can I have a medium iced coffee with sugar-free toasted almond? And can I have more coffee, less cream? Or not. So here is my coffee. So this is going to be my mid-morning pre-lunch snack while we're out and about. We're actually stopping at a local nursery right by our house to check it out first. Hey, are those the bottle brush trees right there? No. Ooh, look at this. Oh, we're here last time. That's so cool. Those are really neat looking though. And look at these ones. I think they're really good foods too. And then we want one of these golden barrels. So they have the little tiny guys. And these don't get very big, but they flower. The top of them flower. I always want to touch them. Look at this cute baby lemon. We do not need any more lemon trees in our yard. We already have two of them. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. To no surprise to anyone, we made a quick stop at the local Circle K in Tucson for Troy to get a pop. My coffee is much better today because I said heavy on the coffee, light on the cream. We decided that we were going to go to the Mesquite Nursery. This was recommended by our landscaper because we really think we want to invest in a Cigarro Cactus. They're the ones that have the arms. They're native to Arizona. They're really expensive, about $100 a foot. And supposedly this nursery has really nice ones. So we're going to go check it out and then we'll hit Home Depot on our way back. We have a 15% off coupon from when we bought our house that they sent us in the mail, but we also need a new shower head for our master shower. So regardless, we'll use the 15% off coupon, but we want to go check out this other nursery. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, everything at that first nursery by our house is 33% off. So we're going to do some price comparison as well. This is Mesquite Valley Growers Nursery. This is super nice. Wow. And huge. I'm gonna get a water. Mm -hmm. I love a good cactus moment. Oh, that one's cool. Look at that one. Here, honey, what about that? That one? Yeah. You like the windmill palm? She's pricey, but that's like a legit palm tree. You, it even has the base that looks like the coconut. Here's our haul. We got a cigarro cactus. This little sucker right here is $125.
We got the palm, and then look at how beautiful this pot is. It's going to match my patio set perfectly. We came to Home Depot for our golden barrel cactus, $60, and it was $125 at the nursery. These are so awesome. We also got a shower head and some flowers for our new pot. So we're at a little restaurant called Chopsticks. It was literally the only thing on our way home. And we're going to have some quick lunch before we head home. Awesome in a stud. Keep it up. <laughs> uh, I don't think that's what your fortune says. Right, there, <laughs> what does the real fortune say? I mean, you are awesome, but what success is success is a planned event, and you're awesome. You heard it here, folks. Success is a planned event. Aren't the cookies good? No. Or vanilla? -y. So I just got to where I get my nails done. It's actually a lady that does it out of her house in my same community, like two miles away. And I'm going to finally get my nails done. They're green right now. I kind of want to keep the green, but I want to add another color. So we'll just have to see what I end up with. One hour later. So I kept the green, but we did some pink, some orange, some lemony yellow. Definitely gives me all the summer vibes, so I love them. For dinner tonight, I'm making Instant Pot Spanish Rice with beef. I'm really excited for this. I love a good Instant Pot meal. If you do not have an Instant Pot, you could make this in your slow cooker or on the stovetop, but let me show you what's in dinner. First, you're going to need salt and pepper, an eight ounce can of tomato sauce, garlic powder, chili powder, rice of your choice. We are using jasmine rice. Of course, an Instant Pot, if you do use your Instant Pot for this recipe. An onion, a green bell pepper, and a pound of ground beef. I'm using 93%. You could do 93 or 96. Go ahead and set your Instant Pot to saute. Add your pound of ground beef. You're going to let this cook completely, breaking it up as it browns. Once your hamburger is browned, the leaner cuts, there isn't any grease left over, which makes it really nice. We're going to add in eight ounces of tomato sauce, one cup of whatever rice you're using. Again, we are using jasmine rice. Oh, and make sure you turn your instant pot off. I have my diced up green pepper and onion. That was the whole onion and the whole green pepper. About a half of a teaspoon of garlic powder, about a tablespoon of chili powder, salt and pepper, and one and a half cups of water. Give that just a quick stir. You just want to make sure everything is mixed together. We're going to put our lid on, set it to manual for 10 minutes. Once your Instant Pot goes off, we're going to allow it to release naturally for five minutes. Then we'll pop the little dial here and release all the rest of the pressure. Wow, this looks delicious. Give it a quick stir to just make sure everything is combined. This looks really, really good. What a hearty, hearty dinner. I am going to serve it up. I'm gonna to top it with some sour cream and some cheese, and I'll be back to share points and calories. Here's my dinner. This looks so good, you guys. Oh my gosh, it's Mexican-inspired goodness. I will go ahead and put points, calories here on the screen. Like I said, I topped it with just about a tablespoon of cheese, tablespoon of sour cream, a little bit of fresh cilantro. This is dinner because I'm having cake for dessert tonight. Look at my dessert. I mean, can we just, for a moment, it is a glazed lemon blueberry sheet cake that I made in my meal prep. You guys, if you make one recipe out of that whole meal prep, highly recommend the whole meal prep, you have to make this cake. It is absolutely moist, lemony, blueberry fresh, delicious. So this is my dessert. Thank you for joining me 
for today's What I Eat In A Day on WW. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me today. We did some shopping, we bought some plants, we had an amazing, amazing dinner, we went out for lunch. It was just a really, really good day. So if you enjoyed today's What I Eat In A Day, don't forget to give it a big, huge thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not because I upload five days a week and Wednesday is always, always What I Eat In A Day. Don't forget to check out the description box down below for the air purifier. Highly, highly recommend it. It is such an amazing, amazing product. Nutrition coaching, links, discounts to all of my favorite things, and come on over, join us in our Facebook group. We would love to have you. Happy Wednesday, friends, and I'll see you all in Friday's weigh-in. Bye.